Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, I will be giving my first impressions on this gorgeous Acomile Cola Bear Mid-Drive Mountain E-Bike. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. This is what mountain bikes are made for. Rough terrains, snow. This is a little deep for my liking, but um, the 27 by 27.5 by 2.2 tires, they're really good for going over larger obstacles than your smaller diameter wheels. And uh, it has a pretty nice uh, tread for, for off-roading. It could be more aggressive. If you're gonna be doing harder off-roading, you can change the tires, but um, okay, on first impressions, I think the looks of this bike is gorgeous. The paint is just beautiful, the welts are smooth, and I really like when companies integrate the batteries inside the frame. It just makes for a clean look, and it's also when you're riding off the beaten path, it's going to protect your battery from debris, from dust, from water even, right? And. Uh, yeah, you know, so far too, I feel the, the position is a lot more aggressive than the small foldable e-bags that I've been riding. Uh, and it has a thumb throttle on the left, which is, that's like one of the first things I noticed. Uh, I really like them when they're on the right way better, but it's probably a matter of getting used to. The screen is a color display and it looks gorgeous too. But I'm gonna go on a ride and I'm gonna tell you about my impressions riding, guys. Talk about the ride quality on this bike, the seat. The seat is pretty narrow. It's a performance-oriented seat. It's uh, yeah, it's narrow, thin, and it's hard. Uh, so yeah, you'll probably want to wear some padded shorts for this one or padded pants. Um, then uh, the handlebars, they're nice and wide, and this is going to aid you for your maneuverability off-roading, you know, like traversing, going around certain obstacles and such. Then um, the pedaling. This is a very touchy e-bike, meaning you barely have to move the pedal and it goes. It feels really powerful. This is a 750 watt motor, mid-drive motor, and I can tell the difference from, from the hub motors that I'm used to riding. It also has eight speeds, eight gears, which is gonna make for, uh, this is really good for mountain biking, for like hills, like going up hills, going down hills and uh, get as much exercise as possible. Uh, everything on this e-bike screams quality. Uh, the, the brakes are hydraulic, so they, they're gonna stop you on a dime. And uh, everything is name brand. So you have a Befan motor, which is a very high quality motor, mid-drive. And then the battery is Panasonic. It's a 17-point box. Um, uh, the suspension. The suspension feels awesome. Like if I'm standing up, I really feel the squoosh. Uh, I'm very excited to try this e-bike off-roading. So that, will, that video will be coming, guys. Don't worry. That's it. So the suspension, you can lock it and unlock it and you can make it softer or you can make it stiffer. But check this out, I'm really liking it. Look how bouncy it is. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be good for when you're off-roading. It's gonna give you that maneuverability that you need to go through like obstacles and dips and roots and all that good stuff. Then, uh, you know, I'm very surprised the motor is super silent. 
all I can hear are my uh, are my gears. Um, then I, it has a left thumb throttle, which honestly I don't like that. I have arthritic thing, uh, thumbs because I'm a massage therapist, so I will be changing it to a right hand twist throttle. Now the brakes, they feel nice and powerful. Guys, this is a solid bike. It just, it, it screams quality. I love that it comes with uh, name brand components, you know, Shimano. The motor is a Bafang mid-drive. And then uh, the batteries are kind of funny. All in all, what can I say, guys? I'm gonna repeat myself. It's just a truly beautiful e-bike. And I have this for sale on my website at www.terraprocycle.com. I only carry the higher quality, safest, affordable e-bikes. For a Metroid motor, this is really well priced. It's like under any Metroid motors that I've seen out there. But aside from that, it's a 750 watt motor that feels super powerful everything on it is just solid it's just quality um you know and it's it could be pretty good for a good commute like long commutes because it has a 17.5 battery but guys i am going to be putting this mountain e-bike through its paces i'm going to be doing top speed runs i'm going to be doing top speed on each on each level of a, of motor assist and of course, I'm going to be taking it through treacherous terrain because that's what it's made for. So don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so it helps you when I do this in-depth review of this Aquamile Cola Bear. Guys, I hope it's nice out where you live and that you're able to ride. I will see you very soon. Whatever you do, happy riding!